Yeah, we've been hearing a lot about these guerrilla gigs that go on here in Brisbane, and one of our reporters, Patrick Abud, went along to the setup one of these gigs to check it out. So we're standing here in the alleyway of Wind Street. What we're looking to do here is, is rock up with a, a hired trailer with full music production equipment on the back, park it in the loading zone opposite this little alleyway where there'll be a gathered crowd and put on two bands unannounced and see what happens. I'm Chris, I'm 26. I've been doing guerrilla gigging for about four years now properly. I started off as a typical nightclub promoter doing a, a club night series, touring interstate bands in venues around town. There are a few issues there with um, venues paying and not rewarding the passion and time that young people are putting into the, the local music industry. Well, guerrilla gigging is essentially the evolution of live music. It's taking artists and their music into perfectly matched locations and making magical experiences happen. For that, you have to go outside and, and make the whole world your venue. Oh, blowing my mind. A lot of this is born out of Brisbane's changing venue scene. Being a music lover in Brisbane, we're constantly having to, to stand by as our favourite venues shut down. There's six or seven places where I've spent three quarters of my adolescence that no longer exist. Just from that um, general sadness that comes with that, you need to do something that's not so site specific. So I think the concept of guerrilla gigging, if we can start to make that a legitimate part of the music touring scene, can really exist forever above and beyond specific locations. The great thing about Brisbane's art scene is it, it's pretty organic and, and it is people-driven. I've been inspired and by a, multiple events that I've been to in Brisbane that are way above and beyond things that I think I could even pull off. And they're just things that happen. Local bands like Velociraptor playing Halloween house parties and hanging from chandeliers. Other local bands like Slug Guts playing midnight sets and as you walk by a, a house or a flat in Petrie Terrace, you hear these sludgy underground soundtrack wander in and there's one of the best bands in Brisbane just playing in their lounge room just because. Early on, putting on guerrilla gigs really went for the guerrilla angle and probably went a little uh, too extremist. Um, got in a couple of situations with police and constantly uh, putting on gigs where uh, we weren't really welcome. So you learn a lot along the way about how to integrate what you're doing with the local environment. And guerrilla doesn't necessarily have to be an unwelcome thing. Early on, yes, there were gigs in, you know, abandoned pharmacies. There was a gig in a, a church playground, a gig underground in a sewer that we tried to do. Some really great events. One 15 metres above a Paddington market with the super fun happy band playing from a scissor lift to the crowd below them, which was an amazing experience. Everyone grows up trying to operate within the normal way of doing things, but just by being in Brisbane and knowing so many amazing, interesting people that want to do creative things, you can just hook up and do your own thing. So it's definitely a choose-your-own-adventure, make-your-own-fun scenario in Brisbane. That's Chris Spann from Gorilla Gigs in Brisbane speaking to our report.